This is a Horizon FD110 and I'm really excited to bring you this one because I've already filmed one of these. <laughs> Which might sound odd, but the reason I want to show you this is because it's a really good demonstration of just how incredibly customizable these yachts are. This is very, very different to the one we filmed before. I'm going to explain to you why, but it's really interesting to see what they've done. So we're going to step on here. It has the high-load platform, but in fact, this one has tender storage up on the top. We'll see that when we go around. But the big news, now a lot of uh, big manufacturers like this claim that they do a lot of custom work this they've actually changed the entire engineering they've moved the engines back and put them on v drives so on the previous boat that we saw this was a crew area i'm going to come back to this but i'm just to explain to you on this one this isn't a crew area the engines are back and the crew is in front of that and that gives it a much more super yacht feel to the layout of the accommodation and it works brilliantly so let's go on board there's some other changes as well i'll talk you through as we go this area is fairly similar so huge aft cockpit, big overhang. This is access down to that beach club area and into the engine space. And the reason they've done that is because on the previous one, the access down to the engines was down here. That doesn't work quite so well with this layout. We've got the bar area over on this side. We've got the table obviously in the center there. Steps up, we'll come down those I think when we get a bit further around the tour. And then this takes us forward on both sides. And like all the horizons, they have the bouffant protecting doors. These come across here and they stop the wind from funneling down here when you sat out here. But we'll go inside first of all. And even this is actually quite different because firstly, totally different woodwork, much lighter. If I remember rightly, it was like a dark wenge on the previous one. This, as you can see, is a much lighter color. This particular area is not too dissimilar. So we've still got things like the day heads back here, for example, and this big social space and the dining just ahead of it. That all remains pretty much the same. I mean, that just works, doesn't it? So why would you change it? Love these floor to ceiling windows. The view out from there, I mean, that really does connect you, doesn't it, with the water? When you're out at anchor, that'd be brilliant. So up here, the galley has been extended back a little bit further. And what they've also done is put these doors on the side. So these basically open out like this. You can see how that just fits flush against the side. There's another one here. And it means you can close this area off for crew use and keep this private if you want to, or you can have it all opened out. And in fact, you'll see there's a line here, or two lines here, because that central section comes up. And that can close that off. So it just depends how the boat is being run. If we come on right round, similar deal over here with the door that folds out of the side and then you can see there's a side access door so with that closed off the crew can come and go. They don't need to come into this area if they don't want to because it keeps this as a separate crew area and this as you can see really good size all the usual galley of refinements you would expect. That one there I've got a feeling is a trash compactor. Dishwasher here, cooking, sinks, you know the kind of thing. And we've got um, the, <laughs> the refrigeration here. Sorry, brain's freezing a little bit. And this is what's changed. Now we've got crew access down here because the crew cabin, which was back there on the previous boat, is now up here. And it's just owner specification. It's not that they've changed the design. It's simply that the owner wanted the crew space forward. So they re-engineered it for him. And that is incredible. So you can still have the previous layout. This is just what this owner wanted, and they did it. Okay, we're going to head on forward. I'm going to show you the accommodation areas first. We will, of course, go into the crew areas. If we come up here, we've got storage areas like this, very useful around the boat. There's a lot of volume in this one, actually, so you see a lot of this kind of thing as we go around. And then it's a main deck owner's cabin. So we've got the wardrobes here, like so. And then we've got cabin here. That's lovely, isn't it? Very, very nice. And then if we come forward again, I love these different sections of wood and the light colour. All tones in beautifully. And then up here, walk-in wardrobes. It is a big boat. Of course it's a big boat. But it has to be said that for a 110-footer, it just feels a league or two above that. It's so voluminous. They've really, really got the space into here. Another walking wardrobe here. So 
So you've got two of those. You've got the dressing table just here. Again, some really nice funky lighting. And if we come back here, there is the ensuite. And again, it's mirrored. So you've got this section here, but there's another one with a separate door over there and they share the central shower area. So that is that. Let's press on a bit further. That's a nice cabin, isn't it? This is the door into where we just were, so you can see it again, shower in the centre, and then the two separate areas. Either side of it. Okay, let's go back a little bit further. We've got steps up and we've got steps down. We're going to go down to the lower deck first of all. And again, you're going to feel the space as we go down here, because it is pretty impressive. So a loop all the way around. You've got this lobby area at the bottom of the stairs. And then if we come back here, look at this. Again, it's that sense of space, isn't it? What are we going to do? Let's go right back, first of all. We've got really decent-sized cabins down here. Look at this. That is proper luxury stuff, isn't it? So wardrobes are over here. Like this. And we've got big ensuite here. So there's pocket doors that slide across. And then you've got shower on this side. And then the loo is hidden behind this frosted door here. Very good. And if we cross over, similar kind of deal. Love this, by the way. <laughs> Look at this. All backlit and illuminated. Nice feature. Again, it's all very much customer specifications to what you want. They'll do it for you in regards to areas like that. So same sort of deal, we've got wardrobes here, we've got the ensuite with the pocket doors. Let's come right on around. Shower at that end. Toilet at that end. If we press on forward, there's a couple of interesting things to show you up here because, firstly, laundry area is here. So this is like a proper, complete utility room. Then there's another cabin just here. Again, look at the size of these cabins. They're fantastic. AV equipment over here. Storage tucked away in places like this. It's over there as well, of course. And then, as you'd expect, ensuite over here. The shower just there. Now, another very interesting fact is that you've got another cabin here. It takes you up to four on this deck. What's really interesting about this is that... Well, let me just show you inside first of all, actually, and then I'll explain what's interesting about it. So ensuite here, um, shower just here, loo down here, but there is another door here. So what you can do is move this bed across. Now, basically, from about there, that's the crew area forward. Um, and so with this moved across, this can become an additional crew cabin. If you want more crew, you can use that. And of course, you can adapt that then to how you're using the boat and how many people are on it. So that's the doorway into the crew area. This door here closes across. So normally, that's like a little hidden door, really, isn't it? And then with that one, that makes that part of this crew area. Obviously, slide this one across and close this, and that becomes part of that area. That's really clever. And I think while we're here, we'll have a little mosey into the crew area. The crew are on board, so we need to be a little bit careful. They are obviously living on this at the minute, so we're not going to intrude on people's privacy any more than we have to. But just to give you a quick look, we've got the mess area here. These are the steps. In fact, we'll go back up there in a minute, take you back up to the galley. And if you come up here, we've got a cabin here. I would say the captain's cabin, looking at the size of it, and the double bed, and the ensuite. That's rather nice. And if we come forward again, there are some people up here. And now we've got more laundry facilities. So if you're wondering about the utility room and thinking it's a little bit close to the guest accommodation, well, that is just really a second separate area. You've got this here as well. 
and then it's very nice galley area refrigeration down here that again <laughs> let's not forget we're on a 110 foot yacht that's impressive and then we come forward again be a little bit careful about who's about yeah no we're good we've got um two more cabins up here for crew so a, a twin in this one And look at these, proper en-suites with proper separate shower areas. It's really, really good for a 110-foot boat. I'm, I'm starting to sound like a broken record, aren't I? But, but it is impressive. It is impressive. Another one here. So wardrobes, storage, that kind of stuff. Two decent-sized beds. And an ensuite. So all of these crew cabins are ensuite, and all the ensuites have got proper separate shower areas. That is lovely. Bits of storage around here for linen or whatever else you want to keep in here. And that is the crew zone. And that door, of course, means that for servicing the guest areas, you're not up these stairs, across, down those stairs, back in. You literally come straight through. And of course, when the boat's running and you've got guests on board, you close that one off. You close this one off that becomes a guest cabin or you keep that one closed off move that bed across and this can be an extra cabin for crew very clever okay we'll go back up this one just so you can see where it goes and as mentioned this takes us then back up into that galley area where we were earlier superb okay i think we've done a pretty good job of the lower deck Let's go up. I love these floating steps up through here. That's fantastic, isn't it? That's where we went down. This is where we're going next. So this is the upper deck. And again, there's changes to the one that we saw before. On the other one, if I'm remembering this rightly, this was all one area. On this one, they've put this bulkhead in. You can close this off, doors across here, close that off, and make this a completely separate wheelhouse. And that's great for various reasons. Firstly, it gives obviously a private crew area here when they're managing the boat. Secondly, you can use this area at night when the boat's underway, and of course, it's not affecting this. Usual, very comprehensive instrumentation. So. As you can see, camera system here, radar, navigation. The operating system for the yacht is over here. So that's all done through there. You can look at things like battery levels, um, select what you want really out of here. There we go. Very good. <laughs> battery management, let's try that one. There we go. We've got the vertical wheel and we've got the twin seats here. Obviously, when you're using the wheel, you tend to only be in the harbour, so you just have the leaning post there. When you're out at sea, you're on autopilot and you can sit here, keep watch, monitor everything. There's a seat here for crew to join in or for guests who want to come up and see the boat being run. We've got the desk here as well, which is nice. There's doors on both sides of here one here and one here. But there's another interesting element to this that has been changed. This owner wanted to have a wider sky lounge. So what they did for him was take this right out on this side. I'll show you from the outside. So the other one that we saw had the walkway down the outside. And again, remember, these are not fundamental changes to the design. These are just changes to satisfy this owner. So it's not that they've changed the design of the boat. It's just that if you want this kind of thing, and this owner did, they'll do it for you. This is interesting, this is a projector, so for movie nights that's fantastic, but the actual projector itself, actually that's a screen I should say, not a projector, I keep saying that. So a screen that rolls down out of the ceiling, the projector itself is there, rather than being over there, it projects upwards into it, and you've still got the TV there, so if you don't want all that set up, you can still watch the news, or the motor racing, or whatever, but that for a film night, absolutely brilliant. This is this bulkhead, you can see that rises out of here, and then there's a pocket door here, so that's how that closes off. Cool, huh? But yeah, that's a lovely area, and widening that just gives so much more space. Okay, if we come on back, we will find a day heads for this level. That's in here. Like so. And then this will take us out onto the upper deck aft. There we go. 
and here you can see how this comes out. It left a small gap, and in fact, from here you wouldn't even really cotton onto the fact that that's right out to the edge because there is a small walkway down there. So for maintenance and cleaning and that kind of stuff, you can actually get down there. But obviously, it's not a normal through fare. We've got this lovely area. It's very sheltered because when the boat's underway, of course, you've got this whole thing keeping the wind off you. And then this fantastic bar area here. And I mentioned the tender was stowed further up. Here it is really decent sized tender on here it means it keeps that bathing platform free you could put a jet ski on there if you wanted to you could put this on there if you're just doing a short run didn't want to bring it up on top but it just again it's all about giving you flexibility giving you choice that's the crane to lift it on and off this is obviously this bar area so in here we've got things like ice maker and fridges and all that kind of stuff storage and so forth sink underneath there but that's really nice. And another thing that we've got here is the barbecue. And what's neat about this is if we look underneath here, you can see the mechanism. There we go. You wind that handle, and this rises up out of here to a sensible height for using it. And then when you've finished with it, you wind the handle, bring it back down, and then it disappears completely from sight, which considering that barbecues tend to look a bit grotty after a, a bit of use, that completely obliviates that problem. Okay, we'll come round here. I think what we're going to do now is we will go up onto the sky deck. It's the boat that keeps on giving, isn't it? Look at this. It's a fabulous area right on top of the boat. Now, right up on top of the hard top, we've got, of course, satellite domes, navigation equipment, radars, antennas, all that kind of stuff. That's the camera that we saw. Do you remember the one where we could see the boats next to us? That is where it is, and it's remote control, so you can spin that round, point it, pan it, zoom it, all that kind of stuff. If we come right up to the front of here, again, another bar area. They're everywhere on this boat. You are not short of entertainment space and refreshments and that kind of thing. So again, all of these have got things like the ice maker in them, for example, and there'll be a fridge, yeah, there we go, fridges in here. That one there is the sink. So they're all catered for, basically, all of these areas. This is a lovely place to be. Sat up here, your view is right out across the front. You've got another area here for people to lounge about, sit and have a chat. It's all about social spaces. And it's all about being able to enjoy the boat. That's brilliant. And then this area here, under the shade of the hard top, obviously the, the sun is still fairly low at the minute, so it's not giving us the full shade. You can see how long my shadow is, but normally with the sun up, this is a nice shaded area. And then you have the, uh, the sun beds back here. Let's come right back, drop into this corner. There we go. And that is a big boat, isn't it? <laughs> Fantastic. Do I need to remind us again? It's a 110 footer. No, I don't. You know by now. All right, let's go down and round and forward. So this side then takes us up. As I say, you can have this with this kind of walkway on both sides. This was owner specification to take this area right out and make that much bigger because quite rightly it was felt. You don't actually really need walkways on both sides. You've got one big walkway down here. Why do you need two? So it makes a certain amount of sense. This is the door that we saw from the helm position. I mentioned there was one on either side. And then this is another wonderful entertaining area. And again, you know, sink is here. Nothing is there. <laughs> Ice maker is there. That's just a bit of storage in that one. Isn't that lovely? Hot tub. And then we can come right on around. These are bimini poles, so you can shade this whole area right across. And then we can come down here. And this is, again, crew area with your um, anchor windlasses and your bollards and all that kind of stuff. And that there, that is a big, substantial boat, isn't it? OK, we're going to come back up this way. And I think we'll head down this side. And here you can see how that door on this side of the helm station comes out onto here. You might think well, that's a pretty small area. Why would you do that? And the reason you would do that is because this allows you to stand right on the outside of the boat. If you're maneuvering it in, 
that's what you want to be able to see. And you can see how there is a walkway down there for crew. Obviously, you'd want to be very careful about how you did that. Um, but it does mean for cleaning and that sort of stuff, you still do have a way down there. It's just not a normal through fare. So we'll head down this one and work our way back. I want to show you the engines. This takes you back into the boat, of course, in the, uh, at the galley area. And if we come right on back, this is back through here. And we're back in the cockpit where we came on board. And I mentioned this access here. The reason that this is here is because if you want to get down into the engine space, but you don't want to go down onto the bathing platform, you're out at sea, the weather's not so good, well, then you've got another route. And I'll show you the other side of that. But for us here now, in a nice, calm harbour with a back open, this is a nice way to go in. So this, as I say, high-low platform, that's the tender that we saw when we were up on the upper deck. And then we can go into here, and this is basically a beach club area. Now, what this does, you see this mechanism here, all of this opens this whole clamshell here and if I show you that on the outside it basically means that that whole back from there to there hinges and what that puts is basically a bar area at water level this is a fantastic beach club look at this you can imagine with this back up how nice that is. So it's a very sheltered area. Of course, you've got to bear in mind that when you're at anchor, the boat will inevitably be head to wind. So this becomes incredibly sheltered. The wind is coming this way. And so you don't get it buffeting into here. It's just a nice, calm place to be. And you've got a bar down here as well, so you can sit here and have a drink of an evening right at water level. It's just wonderful. It's absolutely the place you want to be of an evening in a nice, calm anchorage. TV in here, We've got, again, refrigeration, again, sink, again, there's a little hob and a cooker. So it's a very well catered for area. It's even air conditioned. You can see the control for it over there. And this is where on the other FD-110, when we came into here, we found the crew cabins. And of course, as I've mentioned, they brought the engines back. And the crew cabins we saw were further forward. So what you have down here on this one is this kind of like a utility area, really. Another washing machine. So that's that's the third sort of laundry space, isn't it? There's the one in the guest area, there's one in the crew area. This is great for towels and beachwear and all the sort of stuff that's normally used out here. You don't want to drag it through the boat, you can just chuck it into the washing machine here. There's a lot of storage down here. So areas like this, for whatever you want, wetsuits and life jackets and that kind of stuff. More here, you can see how they've got all the snorkeling gear is in here. And that is the stairway I mentioned that comes down from that section in the cockpit. So that gives you a route through, another route out. There we go, you can see it right there. So you just lift, that one goes up, that one goes out. And it means you can very easily come to this area without needing to come down and across the back of the boat. And you can understand why if you're out to sea, that is a good thing. This one here, yet more storage. Look at the size of this. It's brilliant. And then finally, engines here we go just like everything else on this yacht it's massive and we'll come right on through here because what I want to show you is the V drives so these are the shafts for the boat okay so they go down and out under the boat you have propellers on the end rudders behind there that's what drives the boat forward now on the previous FD 110 we were on these shafts would come up carry on into here then you would have a gearbox and then the engines would be ahead of the gearbox so the engines would be there they've completely re-engineered this yacht so the shafts come up now to this v drive what that does is send the power back down that shaft and the engines are here it positions the engines further back in the boat and as i say a lot of semi-custom builders talk about oh yeah well we'll move that bulkhead or we'll change that not many will completely re-engineer and reposition the engines and this is one of the things that I really wanted to show you because this, I think, is impressive. These are a pair of Caterpillar engines. They're C32Bs and they are 2,000 horsepower each. And they call this a fast displacement. The FD stands for the fact that it is a displacement yacht, but it's a fast one. And that's backed up by the figures. 20 knots flat out, which for a displacement boat is really moving. 
it'll cruise at 17 and a half or you can back it right down to a low cruising speed about 10 knots is going to give you about 1800 miles of range so it's really covering all the bases it's giving you serious distance but it's also giving you pretty decent performance it's not up there with the planing boats you know you get a, a big planing boat with those 26 27 knots great but what that won't give you is the range nothing like the range this will give so this is giving you a good balance of decent performance but also serious distance this is a huge engine room down here look at the headroom in here i'm not going to talk about the size of the boat again but you get the drift you can see what i mean about how this feels like it's a yacht from the next category or even two categories up it's impressive what they've done with this okay i think we have done a pretty good job with that let's come back out of here love this little area that we're seeing from the vice here as well and we'll come back up here and i think we'll finish up here on the aft deck on the bathing platform even i should say the aft deck so next one up <laughs> and there we go that is about the size of that that is the horizon fd 110 i would urge you to go and look at the other horizon fd 110 video that we've got on the channel because it is really impressive what they've done to this to configure it for exactly what the owner wanted and that's what these guys are so good at you go to them you say yeah that's a great boat i love that but what i really would like is to reposition that and change that over to that and maybe we could have that a bit wider and that a bit longer and put a bulkhead in there and they'll do it clearly as you can see that's brilliant massive massive thanks to horizon they've given me a clear shot at this one before the show opens so that's been brilliant huge thanks as ever to you guys for watching it let me know what you think of that one i'm keen to hear and we'll catch you on another one of these real soon take care Bye bye <laughs>